name is Dr. Terry Tabuzzi and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Today's question is, how do I get my hormone levels back up to normal? Well, unfortunately, most people are put on synthetic hormones that either come from horses or other sources. Um, I'm a firm believer that patients uh, should be put on bioidentical or natural hormones. There are several ways of doing this. Uh, one common way is to use the hormones transdermally, which is on your skin, okay? And the benefits of that versus taking them as a pill is that they do not increase the risk of blood clots. Typically, whenever you take a type of estrogen, including birth control pills, which are synthetic, by mouth, or even if they're bioidentical, you have an increased risk of blood clots, which is not a good thing. It also taxes your liver and it'll lower your growth hormone levels, which is also known as repair hormone, which is very important as you get older too. Uh, so transdermal is the first way, an uh, even better way to replace your hormones, and this is for females by the way, is using them vaginally. It's a vaginal cream, and the reason why it works better is you just get a lot better absorption. And for most women, this is the ideal way to do this. I'd say probably, 80, 85% of the women, this way works great for them. But there's also one last method, and it's the use of pellets, or capsules, if you will. They're very small. They're probably smaller than the size of a uh, grain of rice, and it's actually not new. It's the oldest method of hormone replacement, and it was first started in 1935 in France. Then, oh, I'm not sure, maybe it was in the 1950s, 1960s, all of these synthetic hormones came out, came out, and this method of replacement sort of went to the wayside. And I'd say over the past decade, there's been a resurgence because it is probably one of the best ways to get a good steady level of hormone levels into your body. Now, the pellets either come in estradiol or in testosterone, and in women, they may need both or one or the other. For men, they just get testosterone. You don't want to get them any of this crap. Um, the method's extremely easy. The pellets are placed in your bottom, derriere. Uh, the area is numbed up so that you don't feel anything in a very small incision, probably about less than a quarter of an inch is made, and the pellets are placed underneath your skin. They will last for about, oh, three months, and then you repeat the procedure. FYI, most insurances will cover this because it's FDA approved. Um, and it works really good. Any questions out there? Ah, if you do have a question, you can email me at askdrt at gmail.com, A-S-K-D-R-T. Or you can go to our website at www. I'm sorry, www.askask for the letter drt.com. My name is Dr. Terry Tapuzian and you've been watching Ask Dr. T.